talk to folks a little bit about um, first day in pads, if you can open up with how your first day in pads was. And the second part was, he was very complimentary of the progress that the tight end room has made. Um, if you can talk about the competition in that room as well. Uh, first day of pads was pretty solid. Got a lot more to pick up on. A lot more to work with ball security specifically. Uh, and the tight end room, we are real tight together. Uh, it was a lot more of us last year. It kind of shrunk down this year. So we became a little bit more closer. And competition is all the way through the roof, through meetings, walkthroughs, and whatever, weight room, however, you feel me? We come out and we just try to push each other uh, each and every day. And we know we fight for a position to play on the field. So every day it's competition, whatever we do. And it seems as though a lot of you guys are going to be able to, multiple guys are going to be used. It's not just going to be one go-to guy or maybe two. Right. Um, is it fighting to, to show what you I'm, I'm, We all play. We all flip-flop across the field, however, from Y to H. And I think we can, in, in both spots, we're real solid at both spots, flipping around and really learning the concepts of all the plays, getting down to it. So really nothing knows to it for real. Past tight ends have talked about how hard it is to play the position because you almost have to be an offensive lineman right. as well as a receiver. Um, how do you feel the O-line has come along? Uh, communication with O-line has been very much better this year than I would say last year. And us being tight ends, having to learn everything is basically like being the quarterback of the O-line for real. So learning block schemes, learning pass concepts, and Every, uh, everything else on the offense. So we just have to be locked in and make sure we're on point. Anybody else? With it being your second year at FAU, what's the goal that you have for this season going forward? Ah, uh, man. Uh, just staying healthy and being able to help my teammates. So I ain't really a goal guy. I'm really a team player guy. So whatever I can do for the team, I'm there for it. Attacking your rehab uh, this offseason, obviously you've um, – You've dealt with some undisclosed stuff. I'm not asking you to share what it was. Right. But how have you mentally um, just kept a level head going through all the rehab while still supporting the team? Uh, just being around my teammates, uh, keeping a smile, making sure I pick guys up when I know they're down, even though I know I'm down, you feel me, not 100% of what I'm doing right now. But just keeping a smile, keeping my teammates up, that's my, my main goal right now. And then how have you seen yourself kind of evolve into kind of like a player coach where you're, you're not taking the reps, but you're still watching, you're still observing, and you're helping out the younger guys? Uh, I feel like a real coach out there. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. Having a paper in my hand, going through script, uh, still taking some mental reps on plays, even though I'm not out there getting it in. But when I do get back, I should be 100% to know what to do. So it's kind of big for me. Anything else? All right. Thank, Thank you. you.